Now you should be able to uh, familiar with our app store. So we have uh, various uh, simulation here. So you can click on the binary star simulator uh, of which you can download it after downloading it launches it and you can actually again uh, be able to navigate along the different pages through the arrow heads or the menu uh, which you can also do likewise so going back to the simulation you can see that this actually has the m1 user. equals 1 m2 equals 1 velocities equals 0 so this m1 equals 1 m2 equals 1 velocities equals 0 so this is the usual, the earlier gravitational law of uh, attraction where they, the masses will actually gravitate to each other. So what's so different about binary stars is they actually could have M1 some M1 equals M2 speed. equals 1, circular underscore orbit. One, you have some initial speed perpendicular to the line of centers joining the two masses you can actually have a orbit which is perfectly circular now but if let's say you were to increase one of them uh, which i which i'm trying to increase uh, you know then of course then this will not be circular orbit anymore so this is some of the interesting things that you can use the simulation to figure out now let's look at some interesting cases. So M1 equals 1, M2 equals 0 0.25, circular underscore orbit. So the again, if you were to look at this particular setup, again, circular orbit is indeed possible, but notice that the velocities would have to be varied uh, according to some calculation, and you need to know, you need to be able to calculate these values. Uh, but the, the fact of the matter is the forces F1 and F2 uh, remains equal opposite and on different bodies and you can use at the bottom r1 plus r2 to find out the the separation between the two center of masses now one of the interesting things about using this simulation is m1 equals 5.9726 m2 equals 0 0.073242 earth underscore moon so the question is does does the moon describe a perfect circular motion around the earth? Uh, is earth at the center of the rotation of the moon? So using the binary star model, you can actually see that it is not entirely true. Uh, well, to some degree, it is true based on the assumptions. But most of the cases, the physics will tell you that actually the earth and the moon actually goes in a circular orbit around their common center of mass, which means that if you add the mass of the Earth and the mass of the Moon together, and there should be some center of mass uh, somewhere along the, the, the point which is uh, indicated as the tear color uh, circle. So one of the things about uh, being a scientist student is we would like to excite you, uh, make it meaningful for you to learn physics is you can actually use this as a like a virtual lab a simulator of sorts so you can actually drag these masses uh, sorry drag these velocity vectors to determine to set its initial velocity you can also de set the mass position and you can see play and see whether this will describe the circular orbit which is very commonly found in our uh, questions so you can see that actually in real world physics uh, this is a lot more complicated and you can uh, try out different configurations and, and you can see whether this will then describe the circular orbit. So with that, I hope that you have uh, had an enjoyable uh, time listening to our video tutorial and have fun understanding and playing with the simulation.